Hi, I'm a pogo community expert, Elaine Thomas, and I'm here to share some tips with you about how to ensure that you are trauma informed. I'll be going over some pointers. We'll be looking at what trauma informed mentoring is. We'll also look at how you can help students to self-regulate and how you can use the students as experts in recovering and healing from their trauma. Most of us have been through some form of trauma in our lives and if we haven't been through it, we've seen a friend or family member go through it. But what is it? Trauma is when somebody experiences a highly stressful event or more than one event, which is so stressful that it promotes terror and fear and gives them a sense of helplessness and hopelessness. All their coping mechanisms are utterly destroyed and they're left feeling traumatised. In today's world, many young people, actually more than you think, have experienced some form of trauma. And if they haven't experienced themselves, they've seen it on video games, they've seen it on TV or YouTube or Snapchat, or they've experienced it through a friend. Now that is still a form of trauma. So as you step into a classroom, and you look at the sea of students facing you, ready to hear, ready to learn, just remember that a large majority of them may be suffering from behaviours that are directly associated with some form of trauma. A young person has experienced trauma. You may not see the effects of trauma until a month after, maybe even all the way up to three years after. But what do these behaviours look like? They look like anger, fidgeting, lying, poor communication skills, poor time management, seeking attention, or wanting to be isolated on their own. These are all behaviours and just some of the behaviours that are impacted or caused by trauma. So what triggers these behaviours? Well, I'll tell you now, you already know. When a young person doesn't get their way, it can trigger any one of the behaviours I just went through. But sounds, sudden movements, different colours, absolutely anything can trigger one or more of the behaviours that are associated with trauma. But the main trigger is a young person not wanting to lose control, especially if you don't want to give them their own way. This is really important. It's not about a young person being selfish or being demanding. It's the fact that they need to maintain control in their lives. So if you've just had a student outburst because you haven't given them their own way, ask the question, is trauma involved? For more advice and guidance in how to ensure you are trauma informed, browse through the videos below. Thank <laughs> you.